And now it's time for an all-new Booze and News Beer Review with Coleman and Jonathan. So, um, first thing we're going to do is a beer review. So, this week, uh, Coleman actually picked this one out. We're going to be doing uh, a local beer from Houston here. Um, The oldest microbrewery here in Houston. Let me pull this up so everyone can see it. Um, St. Well, this ain't the right one. This is Springbok. Where's the uh, Oktoberfest? There we go. Um, St. Arnold Oktoberfest. So, um, yeah, you know that um, I... What were you saying? I picked it out and you said you hated it. (laughs) <laughs> that's true <laughs> but it's all good um so i'm a big beer snob and um i actually used to work for saint arnold and i don't have any like ill will towards them whatsoever um they're a great company to work for actually um and i should just go back and work there again but um if they see this beer review they may not want me to but that being said um they are the oldest craft brewery here in houston um, I don't know when they started, but if they've been they've been doing it, I think, for like 40 years now. Um, this beer is only available from August to October. Uh, it says it's a full-bodied, malty, slightly sweet beer celebrating the autumn harvest. This rich beer has a round malt flavor and an above-average alcohol content, perfect for cool fall for a cool fall evening. Uh, it's best consumed at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It says pairs well with. Crispy potato cakes, roasted turkey, and spicy sausage. Um, 6.6 ABV. Average. Um, yeah, 6.6. That's pretty. That's pretty heavy. Oh. So, yeah. but f- now for a Marzen, most Marzens are are gonna be around six percent. So for the style, I say it's basically average. Um, but compared to like normal American beer, it's it's above average. Um, but I'm a big big Marzen fan, a big Oktoberfest fan. So let's just go ahead and taste it. Oh, yeah. Wait. First, how does it smell? I can't really smell it too much. I don't have a glass to pour it into. Let me get a glass real quick. Now it's to me. Going, Twitch. I actually brought my brother this stein, I think. So perfectly, I have a stein. Oh, you want to go across? Yeah. <laughs> Some of my brother's house and his fiance just walked out. And she's like, I'm not going across the camera on the internet. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, um, you know what? All right. So, so I feel like I was, I feel like I was overly harsh against this beer. Um, from my memory of it, and maybe they changed the recipe, maybe they didn't, but, um, okay, so if you can see that there, it has a really nice amber, orangish color hue, um, which is, like, perfect for the style, um, a really good head and a really good aroma, um, so I am actually, um, I'm more impressed in this than I thought it was going to be, I just remember this being sweet, and it's actually not it's very, that sweet. No, it's not not too sweet. It's, it smells very fruity, though. Um, it has a really nice malt. I wonder if it says here what kind of malts it has. Um, it just says a graph here, very malty. I feel like they overestimated how hoppy it is. For 14 IBU, I mean, it's, it's not oh, hoppy at all. It's not very hoppy. It, it's maybe a little bit bitter. Oh, here's its ingredients. Let's see. Um... It has two different kinds of hops, uh, which is Saz and Halatar Tower. Halat Halatar Tower. Man, my German is bad. Um, and um, Munich styled malt. Um, yeah, and it has. I'm sure it was has some kind of. Um, it has three different types of Munich styled malt, but it has something else because something gives it that brown color. All the color comes from the longer you roast the grain in the kiln before you do the brew that's where all of your color comes from i was drinking with somebody and they said it tasted like they had coating in it the aftertaste hmm. you know, like the after the aftertaste it's like coating medicine medicine um see i don't i guess i kind of can see that a little bit um i was just seeing if we had anybody in the chat yet not so far but uh, there's some people watching so cheers to y'all 
Um, um, let's see. Uh, what do you think? Where, did you, where would you rate this beer on a scale of one to ten? This yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's got a good ABV, nice profile. It smells pretty fruity. Mm-hmm. Um, give it a hmm, seven. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Um, I'm actually going to go a little bit higher because it did impress me more than I thought it was going to. Because I, I, I just had so many beers of this style. Because Oktoberfest is literally one of my favorite styles of beer. Um, it, perfect here in Texas because it doesn't really get that cold. So it's one of those beers that I can drink like all winter, I feel like. So I like to save some. Um, it's good around the fire, you know. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to go 7.5, 7 7.5. Thanks for watching. Please follow and subscribe to us at Booze and News on YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter.